Hi there and welcome to this week's weekly update. Yes, now uh, back to work after uh, a nice uh, week off and um, turned out to be a bit of a pricey week because I managed to leave my um, bag with my camera equipment in uh, in a service station on the M1. Didn't realise until I um, was getting the train back uh, from Flitic and um, I had to rent a car the following day and go and get the uh, camera equipment back. So um, it was a very expensive retrieval. As the one thing they couldn't do was uh, post it back to me um, because of all the uh, fiddliness that that would have involved and also um, they would have had to wrap it up very 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 well um, and then I would have had to go and get uh, managed to get money to them so um, because it was found uh, by the uh, uh, people in the service station very nice people that's all I can say and um, yeah, so uh, that will be a lesson to me. Make sure I got my bags with me uh, and things uh, when I go and leave somewhere. And um, mind you, it did mean that I was able to get a uh, new office chair from uh, IKEA, um, which uh, was stressful. Mind you, I always find going into IKEA stressful. The bit about buying stuff is all right. It's just the sort of like I feel. I don't know. I feel trapped every time I go in there. Um, I, d I know the way that they have it set out is so that you can go through everything and then you you potentially buy more stuff. But it, uh, it just stresses me out big time. Um, there's probably a syndrome called IKEA stress, which I definitely have. Um, and then to cap it all is when I actually got to the uh, warehouse to sort of like get the uh, chair I wanted, they didn't have any in. Uh, but they had another type of chair, but I wasn't really sure what it looked like. So then I had to go all the way back round the store to go and have a look at the chair, uh, which I eventually did buy. But, but that was even more added stress um, to the whole process. Uh, thankfully, I don't go buy stuff like that on a regular basis. Um, otherwise, I'd be just a quivering wreck, probably. So, um, until next time, and hopefully no more visits to Ikea in the near future, uh, <laughs> uh, or any other furniture store, come to think of that. Um, goodbye.